This is Rich Barrington for RV Outdoors and we are at Lake Alamo in Arizona. We had a really good night bass fishing last night. We caught 10 bass in two hours and we kept three. And I'm deciding for lunch, we're gonna do a whole fried bass Mexican style. Me and Brenda have had tilapia and dog tooth snapper in Belize uh, this way and it's excellent. I'll have to admit, this is the first time I'm frying a whole fish this way. I've done a lot of fish and chips with bass and catfish and walleye. I'll be honest with you, but I've never done a whole bass Mexican style. So just bear with me, but I think we have got all the proper ingredients, including the mandatory cold beverage. So what I'm gonna season this bass with, I just have uh, kosher salt and some very coarse black pepper. I also have some nice uh, taco seasoning and it's got some nice big chunks in it. I've got cilantro, onions. I'm actually gonna stuff the cavity with some fresh garlic. Of course, we have our hot sauce. I might even sprinkle a little extra garlic on the top of the fish. So ideally, you definitely would want to use a cast iron pan. I don't have one. <laughs> I do have a little Dutch oven, but the fish is too big to go in to use it. So I'm going to have to use my non-stick aluminum pan, but I highly, highly recommend a cast iron pan in this application. So I'm going to pull the fish out. I'm going to show you what I did to it and what I'm going to do to it, and we'll get to frying. Okay, here's Mr. Bass. I've already scored down one side. Guys, you gotta remember the key here is you want your fish as dry as possible because you are going to be submersing this thing into very, very hot oil. And water and hot oil do not mix. So, highly recommend taking paper towels, anything you can use to get up all the moisture. And then basically all I'm going to do, just make some slits about every inch, inch and a half or so. And I'm cutting right down to the spine and through the ribs so I can get some good seasoning in there. Okay. Now I'm going to take our kosher salt black pepper blend, get it down in all those nice meatism crevices. And then of course you can't forget the inside. Okay, I'm going to take this uh, fresh garlic and we're going to put that in there and it's going to infuse the oil with a nice garlic flavor. And I'm going to take a little bit of our taco seasoning. Make sure you get all those nice crevices in there. All right, Mr. Bass is ready for the fryer. But I did scale it too. You want to scale your fish? No one likes to eat scales. All right, let's get the oil hot and get this baby in there and a frying. 
Temperature, what I'm looking for is about that 325 to 350. And if you're gonna do this, I highly recommend doing this outside so your wife doesn't kill you. Cause it's gonna be a little sp splattery and of course you're gonna have the mess and stuff. And of course, the rule number one, have your beverage ready handy because it's gonna be hot. And we are almost up to temperature. I'm about at 275 and we're about ready to dump this fish into this beautiful hot oil. But before we get started, I better uh, stay hydrated. It is warm today. We're looking for a high, I think, of 77. And I gotta tell you, we are loving it. Absolutely loving it. All right, here we go. This is what we've been waiting for. Get a bigger pan. Good. We're gonna get snapping and stuff for a while until what little moisture is in there. been about about eight minutes and of course every fish is going to be a little different depending on the size and the thickness wow that's that's crispy but that's kind of what we're looking for Wow, that smells so good. All right, just pulled her out of the oil. The whole thing took about 10 minutes or so. Again, it's gonna vary on the size of fish and the thickness of fish. But man, nice and crispy. Let's check the inside. Oh, oh my gosh, look at that. Super crispy, super moist, super hot. Wow, that is exceptional. And I don't have any of the con no lemon, or I should say lime. That is really good, folks. Man, you can really taste the garlic. The taco seasoning. Guys, I will do this again. Like I said at the beginning, it's the first time I've ever done a whole Mexican style fish like this. This is exceptional. I'm going to make a taco. <laughs> this is really good. And guys, the neat thing about this, it's so nice it just comes kind of comes off the bone so right now I have no bones it's very hot to handle but I mean look at that that's just all meat I'm gonna put a little cilantro in there a little onion and of course all this is optional whatever you like and honestly if on a hot summer day slice up some uh, fresh tomatoes cucumbers and just have this as is you know there we go bass Mexican style tacos Mm. I will do this time and time again. 
Guys, it's just like venison, like when I always cook with venison, and I always say at the end, just another way to cook venison. Well, just another way to cook bass. But before we go, let me see if I can dig out this bass cheek and show you if it's big enough. Now, a lot of people don't know this, but if you catch a big enough bass, they have a cheek. And you've heard of halibut cheeks. Well, bass have them too. Again, it has to be a decent sized bass to get any kind of meat. But check this out. Look at this. Look at that. It's almost like a little scallop. Again, not a whole lot. But that is all pure. Mm. Super sweet, tender. And again, bass, walleye, especially anything over that 12 plus inches, don't forget the cheeks. Really good. Nice little morsels. Okay. Well, I hope you enjoyed this quick video on another way how to cook bass. I got to dig in and I got to feed my camera crew because this is awesome. Cheers to you guys and we'll see you soon, hopefully on the water.